Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number for numbers up to 500. And we're going to be looking at subtraction questions. So let's have a look at the example we're going to be working through. So the first one we have is 458 minus something equals 263. 458 minus something equals 263. It looks quite difficult, doesn't it? Now, the most important thing here is to know how to reorder the question. Our objective is to get the missing number on one side of the equal sign and the numbers on the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the box and swap it with the number on the right hand side. So therefore it will read like this. We've got the missing number here and we've got 458 minus 263. Okay, we've just swapped those around. And now we can answer this by using the vertical format. We have 458 minus 263. Three. Now make sure you write these in nice, neat columns. And we can label the columns. We've got units, tens, and hundreds. Okay, we are ready to do the subtraction. Always check the sign. As always, we start on the right-hand side first. We've got the units column, 8 minus 3. 8 minus 3 is 5. Next, we have the tens column. We've got 5 minus 6. What is 5 minus 6? Well, we cannot do this because 5 is smaller than 6. So what we have to do is we look at the column on the left of that, and it's a hundreds column. We're going to take 1 from the 4. So let's cross this out. We've crossed out 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. And the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to add it into the tens column. The tens column now reads 15 minus 6. 15 minus 6. The answer is 9. Now lastly, we have the hundreds column. We've got 3 minus 2. Well, that's a nice easy one. 3 minus 2 is 1. So the answer is 195. Now we can write this in the original question. 100, oops, 95. So 458 minus 195 equals 263. The missing number was 195. It's very straightforward. Okay, now let's have a look at our second example. This time, we've got the missing number first. Missing number minus 580. I'm oh, sorry, I've got the wrong one. The numbers are too large. It's actually 327 equals 124. So something minus 327 equals 124. Now I'm sure you know what we're going to do here. Again, the objective is to make sure that the missing number, that's this box, is on one side of the equal sign. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this number 327 and we're going to t move it across to the right-hand side. Now this is minus, so on the right-hand side it becomes plus. So let's draw the equal sign question that can now be rewritten as the missing number equals 124 and this time it's plus 327. So we have successfully rewritten the question in a format that is easier to answer. And we, we can do this in the vertical format. Now we have taught you other methods in addition so you can use other methods to work out the answer. In fact, if you really want to shine, you can do this with mental arithmetic. Here we're going to show you all the workings. Okay, we are now ready to go ahead and do the addition. Starting on the right hand side, the units column, we've got 4 plus 7. 4 plus 7 is 11. Next, we've got the tens column. We've got 2 plus 2, the answer is 4 plus the one we've carried over, and that is 5. 
Lastly, we've got the hundreds column. 1 plus 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. And that is our answer. 451. We can write this in the original question. 451 minus 327 equals 124. So the missing number was 451. And it really is that simple. Just make sure that you reorder the questions in the right way. And that is how we find the missing number for numbers up to 500 for subtraction questions.